the Let's Play Free Code Camp. Today we're going to be solving the Intermediate Algorithm Scripting Challenge, Smallest Common Multiple. So we want to find the smallest common multiple of the provided parameters that can be divided evenly by both, as well as all sequential numbers in the range between the parameters. So we're going to get our input as the, the range will be an array of two numbers that will not necessarily be in numerical order, so we're going to have to figure out which one's bigger. And let's get right to it. So what are the steps we've got to do? First, we've got to figure out the bigger num. Grab all the nums in the middle. Find the answer. So we're going to start by figuring out which number is bigger. So we're going to say var small is equal to r0 is greater than r1. And then we're going to say r. So if r0 is greater than r1, we're using a ternary operator here, then r1 is the smaller one. And if not, then it's going to be r0. So now var large it's going to be r1 is greater than r0, another ternary operator, r1 r0. So let's console.log that because hard to know if you got that right or not. So we're going to pull up the console and we'll run the tests and we can see that it's worked out so we've got it coming out in the right order so we can get rid of that. Now we're going to grab all the numbers in between so we're going to have a variable called between which is going to start equal to an empty array and then we're going to have uh, between num variable, which is going to start equal to our small num plus one. And then we're going to say while between num is less than large, we're going to push to our between array, our between num, and then we're going to say between num plus plus. So now let's console.log our between so we can see what that looks like. We'll pull the console back up. And let's look at this one here. So we can see for this input 18 to 23, we got 19, 20, 21, 22. So that's working. Uh, so we can drop this on out. Now we're going to find the answer. So first we're going to declare var answer is equal to undefined, because we don't know what the answer is yet. And we're going to return our answer down here. Then we're going to say var next is equal to oh yeah no yeah var cur is equal to one and I think that's all the variables we need so let's get into it. So we'll say while cur oh while oh oh okay var not found so we're setting up a variable to determine if we found the answer or not. So we're going to say wall not found, just keep doing this loop. And down here we're going to say cur plus plus. So we're going to say if a number dot is integer hmm. before that we're actually going to say var next is equal to cur times small. So we're getting our next multiple of our smallest integer. And then we're going to check if next divided by large is an integer. So if we're able to divide our, our multiple or the result of our multiple from the smallest one by our largest one and get a whole number from it, 
then we know that it is that our large is also um, a possible is a it's a multiple of our large number as well. So in here, if we've determined that it is a multiple our, of our large number, then we need to check if it's a multiple of all of our between numbers. So we're going to say var uh, a match is equal to true and I'm going to say if a match then answer is equal to next not found is equal to false. So once we've done our check this will break us out of our while loop when we find the right answer. So in here though we're going to do between dot for each so we're going to call this next function for every element in our between array for every one of those numbers so we're going to say uh, v for the number and then in here we're going to say if number dot actually we're going to use a an or operator here to save on make it a little smaller our code so we're going to say number is integer next divided by v to check that our next number is also a multiple of this current number we're looking at in our between array. So it is that or a match is equal to false. And we're going to have to wrap this in parentheses so it tells what we're talking about. And what this says right here is this is the equivalent of saying if this it's, it's like saying if not this then set this but it's just a it's a cleaner syntax and it's just easier to work with so let's run our tests and there we go thanks for watching i hope you have a great day